Hey, good afternoon. As I mentioned in my Stitch Fix video, I received my Nordstrom Trunk Club and Stitch Fix together. So I'm, I'm doing you know my normal video on each one. So that's two videos. And then the third video would be a comparison of the two brands as to whether I like the Trunk Club or Stitch Fix better. So it'll be kind of a versus, you know, Trunk Club versus Stitch Fix. <laughs> so let's get started. Here's the box. I haven't opened it, it up yet. As you know, I like to include all of you, you good folks in on it. Just hope that this time I can get it a little easier than I could last month. It was harder to get it open. Well, so far so good. They always come in such big boxes. Okay. Look at this thing. I'm gonna move this down over here on this little stool so that it's not really in the way. Since I got a laptop, the laptop's sitting over here, which is where I used to, you know, take do the unboxing stuff over here and then put the clothes over here as they came out. So I have to change a little bit. Let's see, where, oh, looks like there's a shoe box in there. Where's the paperwork? Oh, here it is, down the, the very bottom. Okay, we hope you made some room in your closet. There's always room for one more. <laughs> Hello, Beverly, try on the clothes, tell us what you think, keep what you love, make your selections and then mail back what you don't like. <laughs> oh, let's see what's there. Of course, they always send a label, return shipping label. And uh, when you go online to rate the clothing, you can also arrange for UPS to pick it up. So that's really handy, especially during these stay at home times, you know, you don't have to go out to the post office and lug this heavy box in. So here it goes. Hi, Beverly. I had so much fun adding items to this trunk and loved the helpful feedback you provided. We love challenging you to step out of your comfort zone a bit, try things you might not have chosen on your own. Check out the outfits we put together for added inspiration. As always, you keep what you love and can send the rest back. Please don't forget to provide feedback before returning your trunk as it helps us get better at serving you. You can process any exchanges through that form as well. If you haven't already, please download the Trunk Club app to make your checkout process seamless. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help. Best, Christy. I don't remember if that was the name of her last month. <laughs> okay, and it's the same thing. You know, of course, I can invite friends. If I refer you to Trunk Club and uh, you folks uh, sign up, they get, you get $50 credit for using my referral link and then when you spend your first 50, they credit your account with that 50. So they want me to share the love. Okay, so this one is a $25 styling fee. So let's get started. I'll leave this open so I can check the prices. Let's start with the shoe box. Something from Tom's. we have here is a cute little uh, canvas, little, what do you call these things? They're not espadrilles, but they're what everybody's wearing right now, you know, when you can just slip into them. And uh, this one's navy. It's got stretching there, so that's good. It feels like the inside's got some padding. It's got little, it looks like rhino, rhinos or something inside, or uh, oh, a bunch of different animals. So these are Tom's Navy Canvas. And this style looks like the William Alpargata. <laughs> so this price on these, where are you? Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, slip on. $49.95, that's not a bad price. No. I'll have to try it on. But 
uh, you know, I don't really need any right now. Okay, next is something, something navy. Oh, a linen jogger navy pea coat. I think I read it the last time. When they talk about navy pea coat, that's a color. Because <laughs> the thing that I thought was a pea coat, not a pea coat, it was awfully small package, not a pea coat. But then I discovered that was what they call the cover. Color. So here's here's a pair. Here are joggers. Here, we'll start up here. See, it's got the waist in the middle and the waistband, and it's uh, got the drawstring in there. It's got two pockets in the back, and it looks like, see if they're real, <laughs> two in the front uh, around each side, and the bottom are, you know, the, uh, the jogger type. And these are, they're, they're a Caslon brand. This is an extra large made in India. Let's see where we can find the fabric content, but it said it was linen, so I just want to see if it's all linen. They warn me the, the dye may transfer on them. It just says navy pea coat. Nowhere about what it's made out of. But if it is linen, I don't like linen. Oh, you're all thinking, what a picky lady. Does she like anything? <laughs> Look in my closet and you'll see if I like anything. So let's put these back in the bag. I may try them on, but I don't know. Careful. So those were the linen jogger pant, and they are $59. Next is another pair. Oh, this is an NYDJ, not your daughter's jeans. This is the Maryland Ankle Mock Fly. Okay. I haven't even worn the other NDJ jeans. <laughs> Don't wear jeans that much, being I'm always in warmer weather. These are the the lighter jean. Looks like it's kind of faded down the front of the pant leg. It's got two pockets in the back and three in the front. And well, I said it was a mock fly, but it's actually. actually buttons under there that you button. They just don't show here, just the top one and then the, the button at the top of the pants. And so these, ooh, you ever notice that jeans have a funny chemical smell? Sometimes I have to wash them three times before I get rid of that smell. Okay, and they are 72% cotton. What else? Let's get this. <clears throat> 24% poly and 1% viscose. I noticed they didn't leave the price tag on. These are straight leg, size 16W. I always thought the W in the women's clothing went 16 wide. <laughs> I mean, it made sense to me because when I have to buy uh, the W's, I'm wider. <laughs> so that's the uh, NYDJ, or not your daughter's jeans. <sighs> they are $109. I'm not sure if I'll even try them on, but I can pretty much tell you that I'm not gonna spend that. Next, we have, it looks like a, a cardigan. <coughs> it's 
Excuse me. Okay, this is very similar to the other cardigan that I got from the other company. You can see it's, you know, it's a, a fairly long one. No buttons in the front. It's more of a open weave in the body of it. And then the sleeves are a, a tighter weave. Extra large blue. The tag on here says 69. Let's see what. <clears throat> and it's got two pockets too. It's got a pocket down each side. You can see down, you can see the thinner material on the body and then the pocket is the regular like uh, sleeve material. Okay, and this is made out of 53% linen 47% cotton, machine wash, cold, gentle psycho with light colors, reshaped, light dry, dry flat. <laughs> okay, and this one is $69. This one caught my eye. <laughs> I like pattern things, as you can tell, because they uh, tend to camouflage what's underneath your shirt a little bit more. Where I find when I wear solid color tops, you know, you see every, oh, oh, you know, every bump and bulge that you could possibly have. Okay, this one is a halogen brand. That's cute. You can see it's got the uh, flutter sleeves. Now this one, you know, it's not longer in the back or the front, they're the same, but it buttons down the back. I don't know if you can see it, but there's buttons going all the way down the back. It's a pretty shade of green and blue. Like I said, halogen brand made in Indonesia. And the material <laughs> okay, this is 100% polyester, machine wash, cold, gentle cycle with like colors, tumble, dry, low, cool iron if needed. It's um not real smooth, just a little bit of a uh, crepey material. And of course, you know, I like the neckline on it. Oh, I've got it backwards. See, I'm so used to the buttons being in front. <laughs> okay, it's more of a, a square neck. Can you see what I mean? It goes like this. I like this one. I hope it fits. But it's, uh, like I said, it's a, what size? Extra large? An extra large made in Indonesia. And the price is... Must be, no, it's not the graphic tee. Oh, and John, oh, halogen, square neck flutter sleeve, $69. And that's a little bit much. We'll have to see. And these look like a pair of, of undies. Flesh color. Oh, these are Spanx. Don't look like the Spanx we're used to seeing, do they? <laughs> really pretty. Lacy. Oh, heck. You can wear Spanx. Nobody know you have Spanx on with that like, lacy material. It's an extra large. Let's see. What is Oh, they've got so many different 
made in Vietnam. So many different um, um, materials, depending on what you're looking at, so I'm not gonna read all of them, but I don't know, we'll have to see. If I try them on, I'm not trying them on for you. <laughs> So that's Spanx. And they are $15.90. Well, that's not bad for Spanx. It'd be great if just my, that one area of my tummy was all I needed to hold in. <laughs> Let's see, and then we have, looks like another pattern top, another halogen. It said quite a few things. No, not numbered. But... Okay, and this another sleeveless. Not a straight edge hem. V neck. She can see the the. V v-neck and it's got it's a seam okay. there's a seam right straight down the front how can i show you me stand up <laughs> excuse me <laughs> okay it's a seam a stitch seam that goes all the way straight down Probably to add to that illusion of thinness. <laughs> yeah, see, it's black. The background is black. <laughs> this one's an extra, extra large. Like I say, it's a halogen brand made in Indonesia. And the price on it is. I know that the tag on it is, okay, this is 49. So the tags are matching today. The, the um, sheet over here that's got the prices. Let's see, where's the, uh, here. And this is made of 100% poly. Machine washable cold. Like I say, it's a black background with uh, a couple of different shades of yellow type flowers with white, and blue. So it can be worn with quite a few things. It would look really cute with uh, white bottoms. <laughs> okay. Well, I still have more, three more things here. This is a bra. Pretty shade. It's a way call. Of course, full, full figure, underwire. Which I really like way call, but they're very expensive in the store, so I always get them off of eBay where they're brand new <laughs> and I pay sometimes half the price. So uh, it's kind of, how do I describe it? I guess this is their breast, they're talking about breast awareness on here and there's a little breast awareness tag. So maybe this is their breast awareness bra of the year. And let's see, it's the right size. Kind of up close if you can see. Real pretty shade, but what's the price? Hmm. <laughs> Where is it? We've done the linen pants. We didn't do a graphic. Tea and white, and bread muscle tank. Okay, 
Okay, the, here's the uh, Awareness Underwear, Underwire Bra is $65. More than I want to spend for one bra. Well, I could probably just copy down the <laughs> style number. Find one on eBay. Oh, oh there's three items. There's another item hiding there, too. Okay, this one is another top. It's navy and white, kind of white, more like white tie-dye. Another v-neck. Oh, this one's sleeveless. As you can see, sleeveless. Same length on the hem. Say V neck, sleeveless. Now navy with the kind of tight. Okay, no tag. It's got you know the uh, tag that's on the thing, which is nice. And this is a Gaslon, G, uh, no, Caslon, C-A-S-L-O-N, extra large, made in India. And they call it a navy tie-dye. I'm guessing it's probably made of 100% cotton. Let's see. No? <laughs> I'm wrong. 60% cotton and 40% Mughal. Oh, that, that's cute too. That's another one that looked really cute with uh, white pants. And that one is one of the cheapest ones, but the graphic tee, that's $29. And then we have, well, I mentioned that's not the graphic. That was the muscle tank, apparently. Yeah, $19. This is the graphic t-shirt, navy and white. Let's see why I get them mixed up. There's so many of them are labeled the same thing. This is a regular uh, crew neck, and it says, meet me by the pool. Well, catch me by a pool, unless I'm fully clothed. <laughs> but it's a you know, shorter sleeve, I mean short sleeve, but the shorter short sleeve. And the pool part has a little bit of color on the pool part, you know, the, the pretty color of, of water. This one is a 1901 brand, extra, extra large, made in India. And this is the one that's $29. They label it white, that's why I got confused. Yeah, 1901. And it is made out of sixty cotton, forty modal. So same as this one right before it, but different company. Someone was 29. Okay. Oh, wait, one more thing. There's a box. Another little box. Earrings. Silver and navy. Navy, what a surprise. <laughs> oh, let's see what they are. If you have problems trying to, oh, that was too easy to manipulate your hands. Okay, this is a big hoop earring. Take it out so I can show it to you better. So it's, it's a hoop with uh, almost a heart shape and it's a, a navy stone so silver with a navy stone 
Let me see, they're featherweight and these are Kendra Scott brand. I like them, I just don't know if I'd wear them much. But also depend on the price. <laughs> cheap, cheap me. Got a nice box. I mean, look, it's all padded. I'm assuming there's nothing else in there. No. Oh, I see. This is a little thing you can put it in. Like when you're transporting it, like if you have it packed in your suitcase or something. Nice box. Snaps closed. So these are earrings. Oh, no, I don't think I like them. <laughs> $68. Well, they're cute though, aren't they? Now this time, let's see, they didn't send a, uh, that was the last item. They didn't send a, a breakdown of everything. So I don't know what they all come to. I'll have to try them on and then, uh, I know I don't want to take the whole box because I'm sure it's probably close to, mm, $350, $400, something like that. So I will go try some of these on and share them with you, and then we'll come back and discuss it and uh, take it from there. See you in a bit. Now here is a truck club, Meet Me By The Pool shirt. I like it okay. It's just not something that I would wear because I have so many <laughs> navy ones. Prefer V-neck, as you all know. So uh, I'll still show it to you, you know, unless you all say, oh, I love that shirt on you. Uh, you know, then that's the only time I change my mind. That, because it's probably the cheapest one. The so hold on. Okay, and here is the, what they call the tie-dye shirt. I don't think I like this one, neither does Bob. You know, for one thing, it's the short sleeve. I know some of the others are too, but, but it's V-neck. But I just don't, I just, I don't know. It's just, not me. On to the next. This is the one with the black background and you know, the yellow with the blue in there and white. It's a longer shirt, actually in the back. Whew. I'm all out of breath. <laughs> What do you think? I mean, this look really cute, like I said in the video, with you know, black pants, white, uh, you know, very, well, maybe a light yellow, but, and the blue, I mean, I've got blue on right now. I don't know, are you like me? I just don't like trying on clothes anymore. When I was younger, I did, not anymore. Unless I'm trying them on to see which things I wanna take on a trip with me. <laughs> That's different. <coughs> So, <coughs> excuse me, let's move on to the next one. And here is the one that I really liked the colors of with the blue and the, the bright green. But I don't care for it on me that much. That and the price was pretty high. <laughs> so, you know, this would look really cute with white pants too. See, it keeps wanting to show the bra strap over there. <laughs> so, I don't know. What do you all think? Next? Okay, now I just slipped the cardigan on from Trunk Club. Almost got the way back. I almost feel like I'm wearing a... Uh, a bathrobe, you know, kind of. <laughs> this is just in my style of things that I like. I just don't wear cardigans much. So, you know, tell me what you think, but I doubt if I'm going to get one, either of the cardigans, because like I say, I'm just not a, a cardigan person. So on to the, to the uh, what do I have left? I don't know, one or two items left. Hold on. And I am back. Oh, that's exhausting. Pardon the hair, I'm all sweaty now. <laughs> but what I want to do while I still, while she's here, is, can you see? Leah! Can you see, 
Can you see the kid? Wait a minute, where is she? <laughs> oh, she's getting up to leave. <laughs> That's one of my summer pandemic buddies who I've made this year. She, they all, there's about uh, three that come every day and they always come and just sit, look in the door or they'll sit on our outdoor furniture. <laughs> I get a kick out of seeing them, I love cats. So anyway, what did you think? <laughs> Let's get started on what I think. This one, like I say, when I first saw it, I loved the colors and the pattern and the style and everything. But once I got it on me, I just it just didn't just didn't turn me on, you know. And it was a let's see, the price was pretty expensive <coughs> on this one. This is the one of the halogen ones, huh? Spanks, bang, spanks, bang, bang. $69, uh, $70 for a top. Oh, I flinch at paying, oh, with, with uh, QVC, $50 for two tops, you know. <laughs> so this one, I think I'm going to put in the uh, return pile. I know it's pretty and everything, but what can you do? You gotta work with what you got. The uh, cardigan. Like I say, this cardigan just doesn't do it for me, especially this one. Uh, I just feel like I've got a big old bathrobe on. And the colorings aren't real flattering either, it's kind of a, a drab color. So I'm putting that in the return. Now this one's a consideration. This is the black with the yellow you know it's a little different than what i already have fit okay though i still feel like i need to use a, lose a few more pounds but that one i'm going to put in the maybe pile and this one which was the tie-dye <sighs> Didn't like the way it looked on me. Don't like the feel of the material. Didn't like the pattern. So in other words, I just didn't look it. I like it better when it's just folded up. So that's going in the return. Now, you probably notice I didn't try on the Spanx or the bra. <laughs> Some things have to be kept a little private. So uh, the bra, I know I'm returning because I'm not going to pay full price for the Waco brand. Now the Spanx, I still need to try this on, but I'll try them on uh, another time. But those I will consider. Then let's see, this top. This one I didn't even try on for Bob. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I like it, but like I said, I have so many navy ones, and I don't wear navy solids like this that often because of uh, cat hair, you know, it gets all over them. So, uh, this one I'm going to put, what do you think? I'm going to, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to put it in the return pile, exercise some control here. And, okay, of course, the, the earrings I'm returning because uh, I'm not going to pay that much for a pair of earrings, which was, what, $69 or something like that? Um, uh, $68. See, I, I did try on one of the shoes for Bob to see what he thought, if he liked these better or, uh, you know, I had just gotten like three pairs of Skechers of this similar type while we were in Yuma at the uh, Skecher outlet. So something has to really be different and look good for me to, to spend more money on shoes because I end up not even wearing them this year because we didn't go on our trips. I need to get them. So. <laughs> New medication really makes my mouth dry. So, 
the other two items I didn't try on because I already knew I'm not keeping them. This was your, you know, not your daughter's jeans, NYDJ. I knew I wasn't gonna spend $109 for a pair of jeans. So not gonna try them on, get excited about the fit because then it would be too tempting. And the same with the, uh, the linen, the linen pair of pants. Linen's not my, my fabric. So, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? <laughs> Being several of them, I just, you know, don't even try on. Well, I only have one item in the keep. But I'll relook at them, and I, and I want to hear your comments on what you think about them, too, because that helps me to decide. So make your comments down below. If you like this video, please hit like. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit subscribe. And like I said yesterday in my Stitch Fix video, I hit my 100 mark, so I'm, I hit my first goal, what do you call it, goal post, goal mark. <laughs> and I have all of you to thank for that. So, I hope you all watched my Stitch Fix, Sticks Fix yesterday, um, because Either tomorrow or Tuesday, I'm going to do a versus trunk club versus stitch fix. And uh, that's, you know, for like those of you who, who maybe would like to start one of these subscription boxes but don't want to do two, I'll give you some of the my pros and cons, especially a, a woman my age. <laughs> and uh, it might help you make decisions on what you're going to do. So, this is Grandma Bev. Hope you are having a, a, a good Sunday uh, for the weekend, and I'll, I'll be seeing you either tomorrow or Tuesday. Bye. Love you all.